Okay, in this video what we're going to do is make a binary amplitude Fresnel lens. And we start out with OptiScan, uh, go under Accessories, DOE, and CTH Calculator. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into Add Elements. And um, we're going to keep the Fresnel lens. We're going to cut the grading. Those are the default. And we're going to add a Super Gaussian at the end, case new glass. But we'll describe that in a minute. For the Fresnel lens itself, we're told that um, it's a binary amplitude, so we'll change Q levels to 2. And the uh, lens is 3.2 millimeters in diameter. So um, we'll select 3.2 here and 3.2 here. And um, the uh, focal length, we're told, is 100 millimeters at a wavelength of 686 nanometers. So we'll change the focal length to 0.1 and 1. Okay, so you'll notice that the wavelength isn't here. We actually have to go out to a different window to set the wavelength. Uh, if we go back to the master window by hitting OK, we can change the master uh, wavelength there to 686 nanometers and here the sampling set up to be 2.1 microns which is the sampling of the uh, master photography tool at the University of Arizona and uh, we're going to make the overall we're going to put this one into a master matrix uh, because of the super Gaussian and we'll see why in a minute um, and we'll set that overall size of the complete uh, master to 15 by 15 millimeters and it's a good idea to save your project. Um, I like to leave DOE project in the beginning of the file name. And we'll say binary no zone plate uh, 100 millimeters full length 686 nanometers. Okay. Now, um, if we just go back to add elements in the Fresnel lens, we just calculate it now. We'll get a we'll get a pattern. And we don't want to save this one. And we see that now what we get is a we get a um, pattern that is um, square. And we want a round Fresnel lens um, inside this 15 millimeter aperture. So uh, we're going to change that uh, when we add it into the aperture and then put a mask on for the super gal. So now the other thing that you notice is that the center is black. Uh, which, when we write it with a uh, binary masking process, chrome on glass, um, and a positive photoresist, this center area would actually be black um, in the patterned uh, lens. So we're going to turn that into a white area so it would be clear in the Fresnel zone pattern by going back into the master file uh, panel and setting the refractive index um, or setting the uh, type of photoresist to a negative photoresist. So let's go back into the master panel and change the resist type to negative. And if we go back to add elements, let's calculate the Fresnel lens. Okay, so now the center is white. Okay, and that's what we're going to want in our writing pattern. We write it in the uh, photoresist. So we'll close that out. And um, then we will go back here. And now I want to explain about the Super Gaussian. The Super Gaussian is going to be a mask. Uh, so we can uh, set that size also equal to the uh, 3.2 millimeter diameter. And then we'll set the radius of the Gaussian equal to uh, 3.2 divided by 2. And um, then this is the exponent of the super Gaussian. We're going to, we want a kind of nice sharp cutoff of the cert function, so we make that a uh, exponent of 75. And now we're going to combine these two by selecting OK here, and then going out into the Arrange Master button, into the Arrange Elements panel. And the uh, we need to take out the center offset for the Fresnel lens. The Fresnel lens is centered. And then for the super Gaussian, what we're going to want is an operation flag, flag of 3. 
uh, which instead of a direct replace, like what the uh, Fresnel lens is here with the zero, this will be a masking flag, and that's explained in the DOE calculator help uh, documentation. Uh, that'll mask out everything where the super Gaussian is zero to set it to be a zero or dark in the master. So if we go back now and I'd like to save the project here just to make save. Then we hit the calculate DOE master, calculate, and this will take just a minute. And there we go. Now of course sampling on the screen doesn't show the right proportion here, so uh, we go out and zoom in on this guy, and there, there it is. There's your vanilla.